What's going on, man? You already know what it is, man. Goddamn. Shit, a lot of things, man. A lot of things, never a little. Yeah. Yeah. Man, a lot, a lot of people been wondering about, you know, how it all got started. I want to start off. You can let us all know how you got your name. How you, how you get to Shit. be known as Mad. Goddamn, man. Shit, it started with goddamn the drink. The Mad Dog 2020 drink. Yeah. People that really know me, they know this story. Start off with the Mad Dog 2020 drink. Yeah. I used to drink the fuck out of it. We used to have like Mad Dog 2020 parties, like yeah. shit you buy at the store. Yeah. And okay, so boom, God bless his soul. T.O. Carter, man, my guy. Uh -huh. God bless him. We, you know, whatever. And uh, he ended up calling me Mad Dick Willie. Yeah. So, <laughs> so then it was like, whoa, from the drink to that. Then, you know, like, fuck it, man. You know, so they abbreviated the, the streets, the world, or whoever. They abbreviated, they just start calling me Mad. Yeah. So okay. that's how you end up with M A D D, just mad. Yeah. yeah. Shit like that. I like that. Uh -huh. I like that. Yeah, certain music that you listened to growing up that you know, that you felt like pushed you to, got you to this point right now that inspired you or motivated you? I mean, one thing about me, man, I'm inspired by a lot of things, man. Just days, nights, moons, stars. Just everything inspires me. When I see a person come from nothing to something, you know, or, or just like a person that just be who he is, or a woman that be who she is. I'm inspired by a lot of things, but as far as music, you know, the Wu-Tang, the Biggie, the Pop, some of the new shit, you know, I mean, I I just listen to a lot of different things. Like, one of my favorite songs is uh, about, it's a country song called Tennessee Whiskey. Yeah. I listen to that, you know, all kind of shit, okay. man. Like, I'm, I'm not a one-track minded type person. Right. I will always continue, I will always evolve and push the envelope of things because for me, since I was, you know, 14, 15, whatever, I realized there's a lot of things that, you know, people want to say, people want to do, but for whatever reason, you know, to their circumstances, they don't say or do. Right. So if I want to say it, I'm going to say it. Right. If I want to do it, it's done. Right. You know, and that, and that, that makes me have a great day. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because I remember uh, the first song <laughs> I ever heard from you was um, Everything on Facebook. Yeah, that and was... And it went crazy and stuff. Yeah, that, that was actually before Facebook became the Facebook it is now. Right. I sat down and I saw that it was going in that direction that it was going to take off. Right. So... I just got on there one night and I rapped about what I saw. I saw people doing, putting their toenails and hairdos and, you know, the ass and titties and, you know, the kids and all kind of stuff on there. So that's actually, I, I rap what I saw. I'm able to to put things to a melody if I see them. If I go through them or if you go through it and you tell me about it, I'm able to put it to a melody, right. which is considered a track. Right. <laughs> I'm able to do those things. Right. Yeah. Do you think that that's what a lot of these um, these other up and coming artists need to realize things like that when they look at Facebook and Instagram? It's not just there to put up nonsense. You can actually use it to better your situation, just as you done. I mean, to me, if 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 a person you know makes a song, whatever it's about. Guns, drugs, it don't matter, you know, whatever, whatever. It's all, you know, entertainment. It's all in the game. It's all in daily life. Yeah. So for me to speak specifically about one situation and it do it like this, like that, nah, because it all depends on how a person grow up. You know. True. Okay, prime example, like uh Mike Vick, when they got him with the dogs, he was like, shit, you know, fighting dogs was something that we do normally so what the fuck do you mean I lose a contract, I lose this, and y'all don't want to fuck with me? Like, what the fuck is this about? Right. To me, it's just something that it's normal behavior. Right. So, to, to me, it wasn't really a big deal. Right. You know, I mean, just to be honest, you know, that's just how I feel. It wasn't a big deal because to him, that's normal behavior. Yeah. That's just like a boxer. They grew up boxing, they fight for a living. So, for them to fight, box, whatever you want, it's, it's normal behavior. Right. Yeah, so you can better your situation by, you know, making a song about this, that, and that. Killing, shaking ass, whatever. 
you know, and then it betters your situation because it's able to provide money. Right. Um, somebody else right beside you might actually go further than you. Right. So it betters their situation. Right. You know, the way that they go at doing it, well, you know, people take chances. It's true. You it's know. true. Um, you know, I remember your first mixtape. That oh, was yeah. uh, featuring Mad. Yep. You have features with everybody. I still got yep. that mixtape yep. to this yep. day, yep. man. The Jones Hot, man. So you came a long way with your music <laughs> from your first mixtape until now. Where do you see your music going? As far as as far as your music career, are you just gonna stick with the music, like, or is there something bigger for your brand being mad brand? Cause I watch your 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 blogs, man, and oh, you 15s. can definitely have a TV show. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, for real. And it's crazy because a lot of people watch that. You know, they see the fun side of you. And now we in the interview and you talk and we can actually see that you're actually intellectual. Yeah. People are gonna see this interview like, yo, he really is smart. <laughs> so, I mean, where do you see yourself, you know, in, in the future? Where do you see yourself bringing your brand in the future? I mean, I see it as like becoming a brand name like Pepsi. Right. When you, when you go buy a soda, Mountain Dew or whatever, it's just a soda. But when you buy that goddamn Pepsi, that motherfucker gonna pop the same. It's gonna give you the same right. burp. It's even gonna give you gas. <laughs> you know that Pepsi gonna do what the fuck that Pepsi gonna do. Yeah. Cause it's a brand name and they stand behind it. Right. So with the up top NT and the mad name and the brand and all that, it's just you know I wanted to become as as brand name as Pepsi. Right. You know, when I go buy a fucking uh, cocoa, right. I don't expect that motherfucker tastes like no pets. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I know what I'm getting. I want people to understand the hard work, the right. blood, sweat, and tears right. that it took to get this right here to them. Right. From here to there to marketing to the consumer. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of steps to before people actually get it. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, what is it that you see in yourself that sets you set you aside from all the millions other of up and come up and coming artists that's you know trying to make it, trying to make something happen? What do you see in yourself that sets you aside from everyone? See, because you you do you definitely have a personal a personality that. You don't see too often. You really don't. See, now, that goes all the way back to where I was a younger fella. You know, probably four or five years old. As old as I can remember. My granddad used to call me a comedian. Yeah. And, you know, I always had the, I always had the want and the ability to, you know, make people smile. Right. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. know, just make people smile and make them enjoy themselves. Because when I see people happy, man, that shit makes me happy. Right. You know, because I done dealt with the pain in both sides. You know, I, I dealt with a lot of shit. Yeah. So, every you know, everybody has problems. True indeed. But mad ain't one. Right. Motherfucker got 99 problems, but mad ain't one. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, to answer that question directly, like, what did I see different in myself? For a while, I really didn't see it because it's me. You know, True. The, the hard, one of the hardest things to see is yourself. Because, you know, most guys, man, we don't really stand in the mirror all day. That's true. You know, I don't really, you know, my eyes are to look out, not to look at me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, I just noticed that people will be happy to see me, genuinely. Yeah. You know, and, you know, whether I know you or not, shit, I can give you, you know, respect. You give it back. Everything cool. You know, it's just a lot of things that... I see it myself, man, like I, you know, I inspire people and they inspire me. Right. Like, uh, one of my best things is sometimes motivation need to be motivated. Sometimes Indeed. tell me a joke. Hell, sure. you ain't got to know me from a can of paint. Or uh, it don't even matter who you think I am. Right. If you want to take a picture, I take a picture. 
Right. Don't, it don't really, you know, I ain't with all that fly shit, you know. Right. You know, I'm, I'm a human being and I know it. Right. So, you know, I just, over the over the years, I just realized that, you know, people take a liking to me. Right. You know, for genuine reasons. Now, you always going to have that little other shit. I mean, that's, you know, that's other shit. I mean, that's either yeah, there or there. I ain't speaking upon that. I'm speaking upon, like, the, the, the over majority. Right. You know, over half is majority. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. You know. Yeah, and um, speaking of style, man, that you, you definitely have a style of your own. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nobody yeah. can copy that. Yeah, that's what I like. Tell people about your style, man. A, a lot of people have been wondering how do you come <coughs> up with these ideas to actually, you know, make your own clothing and put different, um, different, uh, you know, clothing aspects together. I mean, one, one thing about me, I always believe in, you know, standing out. Right. You right. Know, if everybody wearing black t-shirts, what the fuck I got to wear one for? Right. You know, right. If everybody dressed in yellow, what the fuck I got to wear yellow for? Right. You know, it, it doesn't show my creativity. Sure indeed. You know, sure it's indeed. just like, oh, he got on a shirt, like he got on a shirt, fuck all that. You know, to me, that's not my style. Yeah. You know, I might wake up and be like, fuck it, man, I'm wearing yellow to an all-white party. Right. You know, that's how I felt. You know, I dress more by how I was on your Facebook. I seen the job video. Yeah. Let's talk about yeah, that. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. I know I know we stepping away from the music, but we'll get back to it, man. Well, whatever. It was one of them videos where, you know, it's like you so passionate about you, you believe in your music and your brand, you believe in it so much that, you know, you willing to risk a ask ask your job for it. You yeah. Know? Yeah, and that's what a lot of people they're not willing to do that. I mean, so, for a lot of people, yeah. you know, be honest. I mean, it depends on your financial state. Yeah, you know, yeah. not saying that losing that job didn't affect my financial state. Yeah, but that's not my only means of income. Yeah. I could have two or three jobs. You see right. what I'm saying? Now, if that was the only way that I had to feed my family, would I have done it? Probably not. True. But one True. thing about me is that I have a great support system. You know, I have people that help me, so it's more than just me. Right. You know, so if I don't got whoop de whoop or whoop de whoop, you know, or provide me alone or, you know, things of that nature. Right. You know, so. Okay, back to the video, I just, you know, how I came up with it was that I always think outside the box. Yeah. And and I always like to take that 15 seconds, or however long it be, to bring happiness to a person, even if it's laughing at me. Right. You know? And and that says a lot about your confidence. Because a lot of people, you know, they go through it, they go through things that they might see as embarrassing and... You don't find too many people with that confidence in themselves who are willing to, you know, let out their embarrassing moments and it actually yeah. laugh about. It. Yeah. See, and one thing about me, about who you are as a person. One thing about me, man. You know, to me, embarrassment is is not trying. Right. If I walk and I fall, fuck it, laugh. Right. It's not embarrassing. How are you going to embarrass a person who knows who they are? Right. It really, you know, it, it doesn't matter. True, indeed. Oh, he got fired. So fucking what? <laughs> I don't own that fucking company anyway. <laughs> yeah. So it really doesn't. It, it 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 doesn't matter to me like that. You know, and you know, I just shit. I just take chances. Right. If the reward, if the reward is worth the risk, I'm gonna take a chance. Yeah. I've been like that all my life, so it doesn't really affect me like that. All right. Yeah, man, because I was just wondering, I seen the video, I said, yo, he had his job yeah. on a, on a, on a big-ass forklift. Yeah. And he going in. Yeah. So he, re, he, re, he really, he really want his brand to take off, and you know, I can respect that. Yeah. I really can. That, yeah. that shit I do. It's, yeah. People yeah. that know me know that that shit I do. You right. know, if I can make you laugh, I will make you laugh. Right. Right. You know, that's just me. Right. You know, 
you know, you have people, you know, people have their own way of thinking of things depending on their point of view. But I felt like, and I know that, that was worth it. Yeah. You know, yeah, it was, you know, $13, 50 $14, I could have used that, you know what I'm saying. All right. But at the end of the day, man, I mean, hey, I take chances. Yeah. That, that, that's what makes me, that's what, back to the uh, original question that you asked me one time, like, what makes you different? All right. I take chances. All right. You know, if I feel like it's worth the reward, I'm going to take the risk. All right. Yeah. I mean, I, and, uh, and I, and I knew not to cut y'all off, but I know a yeah. lot of people didn't see things like that. I know right. a lot of people wouldn't do it. All right. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, so, you don't see that too far. A lot of people haven't seen uh, a machine like that before. All right. You know, haven't drove one, haven't did things like that. All right. So I took my platform to show them that. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely a, a a a part of your life that not too many people get to see. Like, oh, he he make music. He 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 got his own blog. He work a job. So you like you you a lot of people didn't know I worked. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I didn't want to get into that. Yeah, I mean, it's all good, man. I mean, yeah. it's shit. A lot I of like people, open book, man. I don't yeah. have things to hide from people because what you hide, people already see. Yeah, true. Oh, don't exactly. don't don't don't. That motherfucker know you bald headed, baby. Right. It's okay. All right. Because at the end of the day, mom give a fuck about your hair. All right. Because that's what I was gonna say. Is a, is a lot of people that have known you for being in the streets. Yeah, that's so true. So when they see you. They hear your music, they see your videos, they see your blogs, they yep. see you working, and they, they see you doing other things besides that, you know, it, 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 I don't know, I guess it kind of have people look at you like, almost like a, you're like a hood god to people, because everything that you do some big is shoes. gonna, some, you got some big shoes yeah, to fill. Yeah, some big shoes, I mean, right. you know. I'm just, I'm a human being for one, but for right. two, I, I really, you know, even since I was 14, 15, man, I refuse to be one kind of way. You right. know, why can't I smile? Why can't I go over here? Why I can't be straight over there, regardless of what neighborhood or what color or all the other shit? Why I can't go everywhere and just have a good time? All right. All right. You know? Right. You know, uh, I'm not going to settle for just the same old thing. I'm always going to continue to push the envelope regardless. Right. You know, I'm not hurting anybody. Right. I'm not taking from anybody, which are things that I could be doing, but I choose not to do those things. Right. You know? Yeah. I know that you, um, I ain't going to say you, you, you stopped making music at one point because I know you personally, you was always making music. Yeah. Um, but there was a time... Uh, where you wasn't putting out much stuff and you came from, you know, uh, with everything on Facebook yeah. and featuring Mad. Just kept hitting them, hitting, so hitting them. this big brand of Mad and you and you, you putting out bangers, man. You got shoot shit. Yeah. You got uh, keep on hating. Like yeah. these, these are songs that really... Bang, people man. really people really relate to right. it. I went to one of your shows, man. You had the crowd singing your music. Yeah. And I was like, wow, man. You got, you know, how does it feel when you go places and you have people who walk up to you and tell you that you inspired them? Because I know that's big. For you. I feel thankful because yeah. I was once that guy. Right. That, you know, that looked for inspiration. Yeah. You know, so being that. People, you know, take time out of their life to even fuck with me. I mean, man, it's cool. Even if it's like, man, shoot the hell, man, dumb ass, whatever, however, man. It's just as long as they, you know, they get something out of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can leave the horse to the water, but you can't make them drink. But goddamn it, I got you there. That's true. Indeed. So, you know, it's, it's all good, man. I just, I like that feeling, man. All right. I enjoy that feeling. Yeah. You know, sometimes people want pictures and shit. Like, who the hell are you? Damn it, I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what you call me, Mister Here Now. Right. You know? Right. Shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Um, I'm a human being. Yeah. No, I got feelings and shit too. Yeah. I was. Um. I know it's kind of vain for me to talk about this, Let's talk. but I like to call you Mister Two Watch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mister Two Watch. And that, and, that, and that two watches came to be because, like, time is something that you're not guaranteed. True indeed. It's something that you can't get back. All right. 
So and every time I throw them two watches, like, man, don't waste your fucking time. Right. It's that simple. Don't waste your fucking time. Right. And I never, I never, like, I always wonder it because that's something that you just don't see. You know, and I always wondered why you wore two watches, sure. and I knew it was a meaning behind it, but yeah. it just never occurred to me to ask. It, it reminds me not to waste my time. Right. Because a lot of people think they got tomorrow, they got next year. I don't think like that. True. I think about shit for what it is. Right. You know, if I got right. a dollar in my pocket, that's a hundred pennies. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to think that dollar a hundred. No, that dollar's one dollar. It represents a hundred pennies, four quarters, yeah. ten dimes. So on and so on. I look at shit for what it is. Right. Yeah. Um, man, uh, it, it's, a, it's a lot we can talk about, man. You know, because, you know, we talk all the time. Yeah. And, uh, and the main reason I wanted to do the interview, like I said before, is to show people the, the intellectual side of you, man. And um, oh, yeah. because it's, it's a part of you that a lot of people, don't you see. know, they don't see. Yeah. And I think that, you know, it uh, is, well, re respect don't change, but it's a different level of respect knowing that you're, you're an actual, you know, real person. Yeah. Someone who is down to earth and yeah. you can actually talk to about. Yeah. When, when they see me out and about, just don't look at me. Talk right. to right. me. Right. Shake my hand. Right. Yeah. Right. Ask me a question. Right. Yeah. I like shit like that. I like interacting with people. I'm right. used to all different kinds of people. I don't give a fuck. Me. Black, white, yellow, Chinese. I don't give a goddamn. Yeah. I let me. You know? And, and it's like those things that inspire me. Yeah. Yo, just last week, Shot Double A Weekend, you know, I, I put it up on my blog and shit. You know, the girl in the middle of the mall just wanted to take a picture. All right. All right. I'm willing to take pictures all day. All right. And you know, I, I, I've, been, I've been doing some background with you, man, and um, it's one thing that I know you would never get tired of talking about, is about um, what, about the conversation you had with your grandmother when you when you first got yeah. into music 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's a story that, that always stuck with me the first time she I heard it. Oh, I asked her for a way out and she said, pray. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I just started music. Yeah. Like that next night, I made Facebook. Yeah. I mean, and that says a lot about who you are. You know, you you have, you know, you you, you believe in yourself, and you also have that belief in your prayer, and you know. Yeah. It's just it's just one of them things that you know that help keep you grounded. Yeah. I don't I don't mind speaking my piece. Right. Cause that's from my point of view. Right. Now, some things I say will offend people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but it's not directed towards offending people, you know? Yeah. But, you know, the thing is, it's like, I'm just telling my story from my point of view. Yeah. Let me get back into um, what we were saying, talking about your, your new bang out now, man. Um, well, one of the new bangers you got out, man, because you got two that's just tearing everything up. Uh, we was talking about... Um, Keep on hating. Yeah. And, um, you know, let's shoot, just shoot. take it from there. Yeah, take okay, it out. We, keep we on hating and shoot, shoot. Hating. I mean, like I say, that that one was right there. I thought it would be real fucking dope to actually use a Boosie beat and get him to shed a motherfucker. Yeah. Because he liked it. Not just because it was his beat, just because he liked it. And then that, that keep on hating, it spoke volumes. Because hatred is this. Yeah. It's here. You know, so I said, well, damn, let me take that right there, that hatred, turn to motivation. Right. For others. Right. You know, so if you didn't want to say, tell them, motherfucker, oh, you hating on me, just play the track. True indeed. Fuck it, tell them ass said it. True indeed. You know, like I say, this to all you hating motherfuckers. Stay lying. Oh, Always crying. Ungrateful oh, motherfucker. That's my favorite you know, line and, and, that song. And, you know, everybody has problems. Yeah. Everybody has things that they didn't have. And like I said, I'm going to say it again. Everybody has things that they didn't have. Shit happens. Right. You know, but at the same time, are you going to let that define you? Because I ain't going to let it define me. What I didn't have, I ain't goddamn have. 
Right. You want to talk about your babies, man? Oh, man, babies. We, we, we seen them in, we seen them in a couple videos, yeah, man. Yeah, I have a plethora of children, man. Yeah. Got five kids, one on the way. Okay, okay. Yeah. And you got, you want, you want any more after this last one come out? Man, we go, we gonna see how you know what God bless me. Yeah, you know? yeah. I feel but that. The thing is, it's like, you know, they inspire me more than they think too because I want them to understand that as long as you believe in yourself people will start to believe in you, you know? True. Yeah. But yeah, True. I got five babies. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. them all. We had, we had your little man up in um, yeah, the Keep On Hayden video of dancing. Shit. He's yeah. a good dancer, man. Because, you real. know, one thing about me, man, you know, a cars are tools just like anything else. You know, and I enjoy dancing on my cars. I'm not finna sit there and cherish right. that motherfucker like no trophy. I'm gonna use it. It's a mode in transmission. I appreciate it with value, but I'm gonna have fun with it. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, my son was in there. That's my boy. Yeah. You know? And then when it comes to family, it's like, I see how a lot of, you know, people make their money different kind of ways. You know, uh, a news anchor make their money report news, whether it's bad news about my family, your family, whatever, bloggers, you know, things of that nature. But, you know, just keep in mind that I signed up for this, for this lifestyle to put things I've been through in my life in front of the viewers. Right. You know, a lot of people don't really understand that aspect of the industry. You know, this is an industry. Yep. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's life. It's an industry. Mm -hmm. Just like when you go to work at a factory, you're part of an industry. That's why they fired my ass. <laughs> Cause I didn't look good for I didn't represent the industry the right way. Right. You know, which was cool. It was a a, a gamble that I took. All right. Yeah. You know, so it's like they didn't sign up for this since we were speaking upon family. They didn't sign up for this. I did. All right. You know, and I feel like the some of the people understand that, you know, the better off it'll be because, you know. It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, they're my babies. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what can your fans, your followers, your supporters look forward to in the future for coming from you? I call them fans Malik. Fans Malik. Yeah. F A N S Malik. Alright. Yeah, so sort of like family because when, when you come see me perform or you come, you know, you check on one of my videos, man, I appreciate it more than what you think. You know, and I'm going to always keep that in my heart. I always keep that, you know, that helps ground me as a person. You know, people take time out of their life for me, and I appreciate that. But as far as what I got coming, man, I, man, all kind of shit, man. I might have a damn mad... Oh, fucking do rag, or all kind of shit, man. I'm, I'm just gonna continue to push, evolve, keep going, ain't gonna stop, none of that. I'm right. gonna keep moving forward. That's right. it, you know. And the people that fuck with me, fuck with me. The people that don't, fuck with me. <laughs> right. You know, cause, cause I'm, you know, um, hell, if I don't owe you no money, man, we shouldn't have no problems. <laughs> True, indeed. True indeed. You know, that's just how I feel, you know. That's facts. True indeed. You know, if you, if you don't, you know, even, you know, I got people that I disagree with, you know. I don't cause no harm to them or wish no harm. You go your way, I go mine. You know, that's that. You know. But as far as what I got coming, man, it's a lot of things, man. More music, more videos, more 15 seconds. Um... Just a whole lot of more, a plethora of more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you, you got a release date for your mixtape, or you know, just you just want everybody to stay tuned? I mean, of course, stay tuned. You know, but as far as a set date, man, I really don't be on time with a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things. You know, do this by this day, do that. You know, deadlines. I really ain't good with deadlines. So as soon as I figure it out, you know, have everything lined up right, 
there will be a 15 seconds about the release date. Most definitely, you know. It most definitely will be one of those about it. All right, I'm gonna be looking out for it, man, because I, I, I see all I see all your your 15 seconds. I like them all, man. And uh, appreciate you know, you. and uh, I appreciate you, man, giving me this opportunity, you know, to come interview you, man. Always, always, for real. always. And, and like I say, you know, last but not least, man. I mean, when you see me, I let me. I mean, it's all good. I'm human beings just like you. You know, respect is everything. Right. Alright, and then, you know, uh, one thing I one thing I noticed about you, man, you got your own call sign, it's mad, yeah, man. <laughs> I, yeah, like yeah, I like that, I like that, yeah, I like that, man, cause, cause see, like, I want people to know who I am, right, you know, if I'm somewhere, I'm not hiding, you know, I want people to know who I am, true indeed, true indeed, you know, people don't really remember everything you've done in your life, they remember the last thing you've done or the worst thing you've done. Yeah. You know, that's just, you know, how how people are, how the ball bounce, how the cookie crumble. Yep. You know, so when you see me, you know that's me. It's right here on my eye. And I spelt it like that for a reason in that direction. All right. So that when you see me, it spells the correct way. M-A-D-D. Because I know who I am. Now I want you to see me. So just stay tuned, you know, fuck with it. Even if you don't fuck with it, fuck with it. I'm here to stay, and I'm going to keep pushing, striving, you know. Shout out to Oh So Luck. I mean, damn. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Oh So Focus. You know, I call them lucky, so yeah. I call them Oh So Lucky. But, yeah, shout out to Oh So, you know, Oh So Focus. You know, my man's Q Delic, you know. My man Brooks, you know, helped me get started with this thing. You know, a lot of people, man. You know, shout out to the people. You know, True indeed. most True definitely indeed. the people, you True know. Because, you know, I just enjoy the people. I don't give a fuck what you look like. Pretty much. Y'all good in my book. You know, respect is everything. Oh, yeah. You know, so, I mean, you know, we just, we just be human beings about things. Yeah. You know, and if you ask me, I'm going to shoot it straight to you how I feel from my point of view. Yeah. That's all I'm giving, you know, with the music and the 15 and shit like that. But yeah, that was a good 15, though, man. It was like, yo, ooh, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, I just wanted to show people, you know, I like to show people different things because if I can do it, they can do it. True. Yo, True. I didn't grow up with, with a lot of things. But the things I had, I used them for what they was worth. You know, right. it's just like, you know, you don't eat cereal with a fork, do you? I eat it with a spoon. Yeah. So I use things for what they was worth. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Yeah. It was good talking to you, man. Good to be you talked know. to. Uh, you, know? you know what I'm saying? Uh, once again, man, I appreciate you. And now we're going to yeah. get this out there to the people as soon as possible. Well, hell, that's that then, you know what I mean? I'm going back to, you know, all my cheering and shit, you know what I'm saying? Got to go yeah. back to daddy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is, and I love my babies. Help. Yeah, man.